Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday and I want to show you every single thing I'm eating today. I am just starting my second week of the potato reset. I've done week one, absolutely loved it. I was only intending to do one week, but I loved it so much. I've decided to do another week. I've got so many creative recipes, loads of things I haven't tried yet. Um, but however, today is a very busy day out and about. It is mental in my house. I've got two kids, I'm a busy mum, and uh, yeah, life is a bit crazy. I don't show you fancy recipes, but I do show you realistically what I eat every single day in order to continue to lose weight on my journey. I have lost 60 pounds in the last couple of years, and um, I've been eating the starch solution and using the principles of low calorie density. And I wanna show you what I'm having for breakfast because I need to shove it in my face in the next two minutes so we can run out of the house. Um, I'm having a quick lady grey with soy milk and so we have barely any vegetables in the house today like at all i think i found one bit of cabbage that was it so i really wanted to get my vegetable portion in for this morning obviously to get that lovely 50 feet 50 50 plate going so i can stay full and satisfied um so i decided to whip up a really quick tomato soup literally four tins of tomatoes an onion some frozen garlic and some stock and some mixed herbs in a pan 10 minutes tomato soup and also I've got loads of it so it's going to keep me going for a while as well so um anyway so that's going to be my vegetable portion and then for my starchy portion I've got these absolutely oh look at that absolutely gorgeous hash browns which I'm just going to dunk in the soup so I'll tell you what let's dunk it together baby let's dunk it together oh that's going to be really yummy first let's have a little taste actually mm -mm. see I had a crispiness on that hash brown Mm. This is one of the, my most delicious combinations in the world. Mm. You could even like break it up and have it like little tiny croutons. Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to continue eating. Mm. I'm just really hungry. Um, so it's nine o'clock, I'm gonna have my breakfast now. We are going out and about all day. Um, I've got, I'm gonna go shopping with my mum and my sister. So that'll be really exciting because I haven't been shopping in ages and I am in desperate need of some new clothes. If you guys are regular, you know I have like two tops and two pairs of leggings and I need a bit more. So obviously I'm gonna be bringing food with me when we go out today. Um, obviously I'm eating only potatoes and veggies at the moment and I do not have any other veggies. Um, but that's okay, I'm gonna go shopping a little bit later, but I do have potatoes. So I am bringing five sweet potatoes. I've got four of my regular orangey ones and I've got one of my purple ones left. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on there and bring that with me. So that's gonna be my snacks for today. Um, and then I'm gonna come back. I'm not quite sure what we're having. I think there's loads of leftovers, but I might make some. Ooh, I know what I'm feeling. I think I'm gonna make some Marmite roast potatoes. That would be delicious with i'm thinking like air fried cauliflower oh yeah like herbie air fried cauliflower with marmite roast potatoes mm, that sounds amazing anyway i'm gonna go and shove this in my face and i'll let you know when i eat some more food but it's not gonna be super chatty today because i've got lots of things on the go but i still want to show you what i'm eating so it might be a nice short sweet video um anyway i'll chat to you later okay so i finished my potatoes and my soup um, but I'm still hungry, so I've got another round of soup and I've also put in some leftover twice-baked spinach potatoes. I can never say that right. <laughs> Feels like such a tongue twister. Into the microwave, so I'm just gonna dunk that in my soup and just shove it in my face. Also, this just goes to show the magic of having food prepared in the fridge enables you to literally grab food and be on the run as fast as possible. So this way of eating does not have to be lengthy. It can be so speedy. You just need to make sure you have potatoes and sweet potatoes in that fridge at all times. So we are just getting out of the car and heading into town and I don't want to bring all this stuff with me so I'm just having a quick sweet potato snack right now because I do not want to be hungry in town. Anyway, so we're just in town and we just jumped into this cute little Chinese um, supermarket and I found the sweet potato stash. So these are all the sweet potatoes and there are a couple of gigantic purple ones so I'm gonna get them and I'm gonna try them out there's not there's like the other ones are like super tiny and I don't know if I'm gonna like them um, so anyway I'm gonna get these two and um, yeah and I'm really excited about it yeah this is a really cute little place oh hello so we are finally back from town 
we had a lovely time. It is about 3.30, so we were gone for a really good chunk of the day. Um, I obviously took my massive thing of sweet potatoes with me. I finished them all. I think I had one, or no, I had two before we went into town just to make sure I was not hungry while we were in town. And then um, on the way back, I ate the other two. One of them wasn't very nice though. Every sweet potato tastes completely different and one of them was just a bit meh. So that was disappointing. But anyway, um, I am now out of sweet potatoes, which means I need to cook up a fresh batch of sweet potatoes. I feel like I actually need to do that. Oh, sorry, hair everywhere. I actually need to do that every couple of days because I just feel like I'm burning through them so fast. Maybe also the chocolate pudding burns through them very quickly. Um, anyway, so the reason why I wanted to chat is because I'm just about to start trying to figure out what we're having for dinner. Um, and I think I need to go to the shops because I don't know if I mentioned earlier, we have no vegetables. I'll show you inside my fridge so you can see what it's like. Now, I mean, it looks like there's some stuff, right? It looks like, but there's not like loads of stuff. There's one courgette. What am I going to do with one courgette? I need at least two to do anything proper. Um, I do have... Oh, God, I do have cabbage. So I've got a purple cabbage. and I've got half a green cabbage back there. So I could do something cabbage related, to be fair. Um, but I feel like I need more vegetables just for the general family. We did pick up, we went to the um, Chinese shop, as I mentioned, the Asian shop, and we picked up loads of these lovely oyster mushrooms. So I think I'm going to make a massive yummy gravy with that. And I'm really, really excited. So we've got two packs of those up there. Um, and then there's actually some mushrooms there that need eating. Um, what else is in here? My twice baked spinach potatoes and some kale and some parsley. So everybody else is having chili and rice tonight. So we've got leftover rice from before when I made a massive batch of rice. I am going to buy some avocados for everybody um, and they can have that maybe with some broccoli or some carrots or some cucumber or something. Um, I've got all of my tins of beans. I need to do loads of bulk buying, actually. Um, I'm probably going to try and prioritise that next week. Um, here in the UK, um, I have found the best place to do bulk buying is Suma. So I just... Um, Oh God, you need like a wholesale account or something. Anyone can anyone can do that, anyone can get that. So I just do a Suma order every like three or four months or something. All my oats, all my beans, all my flax and my chia and my nuts for the kids and all those kinds of things. Um, also usually loads of soy milk as well. Um, so anyway, I, I'm gonna do a big bulk order at some point. Let me know if you guys would like to see what I order, if that's of interest at all. Mm. But, I haven't done that yet, so therefore I just bought loads of tins of beans. I wouldn't usually buy beans from Suma, do them myself, but I've got loads of tins of beans. So I'm going to make them a chili, and I'm going to actually use my leftover tomato soup that I've got as the tomato base, and I'm going to basically put the beans in there. So that's, that's an instant meal right there, and the rice is already cooked. See how that is so quick to throw together with some avocado on top, and like that's done. Um, but for me, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to have. I don't have any. Let me actually see what I've got in the way of potatoes. I feel like I'm really running low on potatoes. So I've got loads of sweet potatoes. And remember, I've got my purple sweet potatoes. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to maybe do some fries as a little snack. But in terms of regular potatoes, I'm really running quite low. I really only just have like one pack of these, a few of those, and a few other little bits and, <laughs> and some balls. Um, so anyway, I think I need to buy some potatoes. First and foremost, that is important. The other thing that's worth mentioning is that we are literally out all day tomorrow for a christening that is about two hours drive away um so we're going to be out for basically the entire day and so i also need to think about what on earth i'm going to be taking with me and i think the weekends are just going to end up being pretty simple so i'm going to keep it very simple for tomorrow but so just doing my little shopping list here i'm going to write potatoes and uh, depends if i'm walking or driving but i'm going to get lots so i'm just going to write lots on there um then what else are we having tonight so they're having rice, chili and avocado. What do I fancy? I don't really know. I could have some mash and mushroom gravy. Actually, that sounds really yummy tonight. And just keep it quite simple. Maybe with some cabbage. Oh, yeah, actually, that's really nice. Mash, mushroom gravy, cabbage. I, think, I know we had mash last night, but I'm actually not adverse to having any more mash. I could definitely go for some more mash. So in which case, I've already got the cabbage. I've already got the mushrooms. I am, um, yeah, that's basically done. So what about tomorrow? That is the main question. So for tomorrow, I'm gonna to do some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna buy some broccoli for tomorrow and some courgettes. Sorry, I don't, don't know if, whether you wanna see my face or whether you wanna see that. So I'm gonna buy a couple of broccolis for tomorrow and a couple of courgettes, um, cause I'm gonna do a big broccoli, cabbage, courgette, stir fry thing. 
and I'm gonna bring that with me tomorrow, I think. And I'm also gonna get some tomatoes. Mommy? Yes? And carrots. What does a fox say? Okay, so I'm gonna get some tomatoes and some carrots. What else? Um, the kids are gonna have, apparently, hash browns, broccoli, tofu, and cucumber tomorrow. So that's fine. I might also make them a pasta. Have I got any pasta? No, okay, I'm gonna make them a pasta uh, for tomorrow night and then Abe can take that for lunch with him on Monday. Um, and then in terms of the pasta, I might just do, I'm gonna do a cauliflower Alfredo. So I'm gonna get a cauliflower. Actually, I want two cauliflowers so I can make myself a cheese sauce. So two cauliflowers, um, perfect, perfect, perfect. That sounds good. Um, right, what else am I gonna do then? Oh, so I, we did buy a massive thing of like sourdough bread while we were in town. And so the kids are gonna have that for lunch tomorrow. So I'm gonna whip up a massive um, hummus. I've got two tins of chickpeas. I'm gonna whip up a big hummus tonight so they can have hummus sandwiches for lunch tomorrow. We're gonna do pasta tomorrow night, hummus sandwiches for them for lunch tomorrow, and they can have a big porridge or I'll make them some kind of healthy Amy chocolate cake tomorrow for breakfast. Anyways, that's the plan for the kids tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna keep it plain. If I do steam up loads of potatoes tonight, I could have hash browns tomorrow morning and that sounds really yummy again. Um, and then sweet potatoes for lunch with all my veggies and then maybe some other vegetable stuff, um, some other potato things tomorrow night with the cheese sauce. Yes, that is my plan. Okay, fantastic, we're all sorted. So I'm just gonna, I've got my shopping list. I might add a few extra bits on there depending on what I think I might need. And yes, I'm good to go. Oh, I remember what I was meant to be making tonight. Marmite roast potatoes, hold on a second. Do I have any Marmite? Let me check. Okay, so I do have some Marmite. Yay, so this is Marmite. I don't know, don't know how to explain the flavor to you guys. If you have it, you know, you know, if you've had it, you know it. And if you haven't had it, I can't explain it. I'm so sorry, it's extremely salty and very intense. I'm obviously not gonna use like loads of it. Um, I'm like a medium Marmite kind of girl, uh, but mm, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, and also I was having a brainwave about the not cooking with oil and making nice, really lovely crispy roast potatoes. And I think I'm gonna use, this hopefully should be potato reset friendly. I'm just gonna use the chickpea water, the aquafaba, to kind of give it like that kind of like mm, crispy kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know if it, got, if it works. Um, but I might film it in case it works out really nicely. Okay, right, so I'm gonna have that. Right, so I'm gonna go to the shops now. Um, also, I did wanna say, I actually have some new clothes, which I'm very excited about. So this one is, I think they're all from, where the heck did we go? H&M maybe. Um, this one is... Mommy, I'm excited for Christmas. Are you excited? Oh, sweet pea. What are you most excited for? Oh. Yes? Now it's Christmas. Is it Christmas now? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. It's Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas time. It's going to be nearly Christmas day. So we're just heading to the shop and Abe decided he wanted to join me, which is very nice. I always love a little bit of mummy Abe time. And I just oh, wanted to say, big oh no, that's okay. We can go up this hill, can't we Abe? I'll pull you up this hill. But I wanted to say, I could have driven to the shops, but I decided I wanted to get those steps in. And also carrying the shopping on the way back is gonna be really tough and a great workout. So that is one small little way that I have chosen to um, get some extra movement into, into my life. You know, the other little thing that I did was when we were out in town, we parked on the 11th floor because there was no parking spaces. So we had loads of shopping. So everyone else piled into the lift. I had Romy on the back and I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna go up the stairs. It's those small little decisions that we do every single day that can really start to make a difference. Um, and they really do add up. So anyway, just think about it, park a little bit further away, sometimes walk to the shops, go up those steps, and yeah, it all kind of comes together. But anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick. I'll show you, I'll, we'll, Abe and I will do a little grocery haul when we get back, won't we, Abe? Will you help me out with a grocery haul? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. We're anyway. on it. We're on it, yay! Okay, so I'm back, I am back from the shops now, and we went in and it was light and we came out and it was completely dark and absolutely peeing down as well. So Abe and I legged it back and the bags were so, so heavy, 
but it was such a fantastic workout and I used it as an opportunity to teach Abe about breaking through those barriers when your body says, I'm really tired because we were going uphill um, and he was like, I'm so tired. I was like, you know what? If your body says, oh, I can't do it, your mind can say, I can do it. And so we were like, I can do it. We were like shouting that down the street and it was really fun. And by the end, he was like running and he had so much energy. He was like, yeah, I can do it. And I was like, what an amazing experience. Uh, anyway, so that was really fun outing, but I just thought I'd have to share that. Anyway, let me show you what I've got because I've got loads of things and I need to start getting cooking um, like immediately. Okay, so remember this is part potato reset and part just regular family stuff, right? So firstly, the kids are snacking on some mango, so just got that real quick. Um, I've also got two sets of avocados for the kids because they are having the chili tonight. I picked up this discounted kale. My husband loves kale, and I thought I would saute that with, obviously, some garlic and stuff. I thought that'd be nice. This is their spaghetti for tomorrow, just a nice whole wheat. Uh, we picked up one cucumber because we were running out. One courgette, so I can pair that with the other one that's in the fridge. Um, they only had one cauliflower. I really wanted two to do like a massive batch of cheese sauce, but I'm going to be able to do a cheese sauce with this tomorrow night. Uh, I got two broccolis because obviously need broccoli. And remember I said I was running out of potatoes, so I got two huge bags of potatoes. And this is the stuff that was like weighing me down. Oh my God, it was so heavy. Um, and then to add into the chili for everybody tonight, I've got two of these things of tomato whatever oil free goodness then i also got some baby plum tomatoes for me in general um and romy loves them and i got some strawberries for the kids tomorrow for on the road and also picked up some more of this unsweetened cocoa powder um for making more chocolate pudding so it's very basic that is like a mid-week shop for us as you can see i don't buy any as you can see, I don't buy any stuff that I do not want to be eating. All of this stuff is fantastic. Um, so there's no like crisps or chocolate, because remember, if it's in my house, it's in my mouth, guys. So anyway, I am going to quickly make some dinner. I'm just going to blend up this leftover soup, whack this in there with the tins of beans for everybody. And that should literally come together in about 10, 15 minutes. And then for myself, I'm just going to do Marmite roast potatoes with the kale. And I might, oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to put these baby plum tomatoes in the air fryer. I'm going to chop them in half, air fry them with a bit of salt and pepper. And I think that'll be really yummy. And then have that with the kale and my marmite roast potatoes. Anyway, that sounds lovely. So I'm going to get cracking and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. But this kitchen is already looking crazy. And it's about to get even crazier. Oh, God. Whew. It has been one intense. How long have I been back? Don't even know. Like hour, maybe? Um, I have decided to make everything possible known to mankind the first thing i made was i had one of those purple sweet potatoes and i did the cinnamon tiny bit of maple syrup situation on it and delicious um so okay what am i making let me tell you so i'm using my time in the kitchen wisely and making dinner yes but also just doing loads of other stuff that's going to help me out in the next couple of days. So, in here, I've got loads of potatoes. Those are going to be hash browns in general and also for tomorrow while we're out all day long. I'm also making some kale and mushrooms. Um, just again, soy sauce, garlic. That is going to be my veggies for tonight. And I might let my husband James have a few. Let's see. Um, I also made a massive chilli for everybody. Easy, tins of beans, squeezy tomato stuff, um, and a little bit of quinoa, and then cumin, smoked paprika, stuck it on with some stock. That was ready to rumble. What else did I do? I've got, oh yes, I've got sweet potatoes in the oven there, and also my Marmite roast potatoes, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, that, yeah, so I don't know how long that's gonna take to eat. Um, don't know how long that's gonna take to make um, and cook. I think probably another, half an hour or something which is why i made these purple sweet potato chips for snacking because i'm actually getting really hungry now because it's um it's like quarter to six so anyway and for extra veggies i'm also quickly air frying these um, tomatoes mm, they might be done soon um yeah that's just for some extra veggies so anyway that's what i have been making that's what i've been really busy doing but it's going to help me for tomorrow the marmite roast potatoes i'm going to be taking with me tomorrow as well as those twice baked spinach potatoes and some sweet potatoes and some of those boiled potatoes because we're literally going to be out all day and I wanted to make sure I had loads and loads and loads of stuff. So, <clears throat> oh, and I also forgot to mention, I also made some hummus for tomorrow. The kids, they love hummus and we've got some bread, like I said, and so I whipped up this batch of hummus. I knew I'd been busier than that. Anyway, big batch of hummus for the kids for tomorrow and 
I did get some of this millet from out of the freezer from ages ago and I've got some lovely ripe bananas so I'm going to quickly blend up loads of stuff and then turn it into muffins and stick that in the oven while the oven is still on. Oh yay, I feel so accomplished today. So I've just finished my sweet potato fries and they were very yummy but I am still really hungry and my Marmite roast potatoes are not ready yet. Uh, it's because we got back quite late and I did the best I could. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this lovely freshly steamed potato freshly yeah freshly steamed potato um, i love a freshly steamed potato they're my favorite i'm not a massive fan when they kind of get a bit old and you have to reheat them and stuff but when it's freshly steamed that is the best mm. oh yes that's yummy mm. i would start by eating my veggies now but i want to have it as a nice full plate I don't actually have any other vegetables to munch, otherwise I would be munching those. Actually, hold on a second, that is a lie. I have a cucumber, and therefore, I'm going to eat a cucumber. I'm gonna eat this full cucumber right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. This whole thing will be gone. Okay, so my Marmite roast potatoes are out the oven and they look incredible. Check out these babies, guys. Look at that crispy. I mean, I could leave them in for a little bit longer, but I'm absolutely starving, so I really can't. But, oh, look at this crispy. Mm, oh my God. Mm, it's actually delicious. I will definitely be making this on Christmas Day. Mm, oh my God. Okay. I'm a little bit excited. I'm gonna plate up. Okay, so I have got my dinner, finally. It is about quarter past six and I am absolutely ravenous. Hold on, hold on. I can't show you this with a baby. There you go, little baby. Mommy is very tired. Anyway, so this is my gigantic feast. I've got loads of kale, mushrooms, uh, that full punnet of cherry tomatoes. And look at all of those Marmite roast potatoes. They are absolutely delicious. I might put the other ones back in to get extra, extra crispy, but whew, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna go and stuff my face. Uh, lovely vegetable potato combination. And I did eat my full um, half a cucumber and that was very yummy. And I ate that little potato. I must just be really hungry at the moment. Maybe because I've started bouncing, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Having already cleaned the kitchen today, it looks horrific. I'll just give you a little sneak peek of that side and that side. And there's food hiding behind there. And that needs, oh, hold on, where is it? That needs taking out over there. And it's just crazy and the whole house is crazy. No matter what you do or how many times you clean a house, it's never enough. Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Um, <clears throat> dinner was lovely, I ate it all. Oh, I love those tomatoes and that kale. Mm. I mean, the potatoes were amazing as well, but I'm really enjoying the veggies, like I've been saying. And so, um, yeah, I need to, I need to start making more veggies. I don't feel like I'm making enough veggies because if I had more, I would eat more. So I'm gonna try and just like doubling up on my veggies. I mean, the problem is not the problem. My husband James also likes to eat veggies and that is fantastic and I want him to eat the veggies but it means that I get less veggies because he's eating my veggies not my veggies basically I need to make more veggies that's my point so I'll, I'm gonna work on that but uh, but yeah it's about half ten I've been editing the kids were up for ages I just finished doing the elf on the shelf thing because this morning we totally forgot I don't know if you guys do elf on the shelf um we yeah we got into it a couple of years ago and um and yeah so obviously we do it and so just trying to get creative and try and think about what on earth could this elf be doing and so i've just set him up snuggling in a slipper um reading a story so it's just so silly but anyway it's quite fun to think up and for his little advent calendar treat tonight i've got him a strawberry and i've just tuck, stuck two little um chocolate oh my god what are they called chocolate chips two little chocolate chips for eyes so it looks like a little strawberry with eyes anyway it's quite silly but i wanted to chat about ah right stay still i wanted to chat about my bouncing because i haven't bounced yet today i've been very naughty and i did have my leggings on because i was like don't put your pajamas on until you've done a bounce but then I wanted to be snuggly, so I 
put my pajamas on. <laughs> so naughty. <laughs> anyway, um, you have nights when you're not super motivated. And now, in all honesty, I basically hardly slept last night. Um, Romy didn't sleep. She's not feeling well. And also, she's just not a good sleeper. So I think we might have had like a few chunks of like 20 minutes throughout the night. But it, really, there was no sleep. And so I'm so tired. We've been out all day, making loads of stuff, doing loads of stuff, editing and doing all the work. I love editing, but, it, you know, I'm, I'm knackered, to be honest. And so I said to myself that I was going to get on that trampoline and do a couple of minutes a day. And so that's literally what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be really naughty. I'm not even going to get out of my pyjamas. <laughs> nope, I'm going to stay in them. I, this is my new top that I got and it is so snuggly. I feel like a teddy bear. And so I just, oh, I could not get out of this. That would be too, way too tricky. So, um, yeah, so I am going to get on the trampoline and I'm going to listen to one song. It might be three minutes long and I'm going to bounce. And don't even have a bra on, so I'm just going to hold my boobs in. Uh, but anyway, that's my plan. So, you know, it's not fancy, but am I bouncing? Yes, I am doesn't really matter how long it's for it's about getting into the habit of bouncing yes i should also be getting into the habit of wearing my workout gear whilst i'm bouncing but i didn't specify that and i feel like it's better to do the bouncing than not to do it at all so that's where i'm at guys that's the kind of day it's been weekends are always a bit trickier and a little bit crazier in my household anyway so i'm going to go and do that let me know how you guys are getting on with any of your habits that you're working on this month. And um, and yeah, I will chat to you guys tomorrow. Again, tomorrow we are on the road all day long. I've got loads of food now prepped. Yay me. So I'm feeling really pleased about that. Uh, but I still have a lot of stuff to sort and everyone else's food to sort. Because uh, everyone else is obviously going to need some food. Um, so that'll be a really early start tomorrow morning. And loads of preparation and just general packing for the christening that we're going to. Um, so it's going to be intense. I just hope we get some sleep because my husband and I are so tired. Anyway, you guys don't need to know about that. I'll chat to you tomorrow. And tomorrow will probably be short and sweet. Every time I said that, say that whenever I edit the videos, <laughs> they're not short and sweet. So but you know, don't don't trust me is my point. Anyway, I'll chat to you later. I hope you've enjoyed a little I hope you've enjoyed this crazy video and I'll see you next time. Absolutely loved that workout. I didn't do very much. I thought I was only going to do two miserable minutes. I ended up doing like 10 super bouncy, amazing minutes. Um, and still in my jammies, obviously. But I just thought, I know I finished the video, but I just wanted to let you know it was a darn good workout and I had a really good time. Um, anyway, um, I hope you're enjoying my tiny baby hairs uh, that have come through uh, since Romy's been born. Looks like I've got a fringe, but not on purpose. Anyway, bye.